Hey there, what's going on? Thanks for joining us today on Cinema Recap. So, we're gonna take a look at that 2020 horror sci-fi movie called The New Mutants, where we have five young mutants who have suffered some traumatic experiences and are admitted into a secret facility. Soon after, they begin experiencing visions of their past and doubt the safety of that facility. Spoilers ahead. After a traumatic incident, Danny loses her father. She makes it out in one piece and the next time she opens her eyes, she's welcomed by an unfamiliar setting and handcuffed to a hospital bed. Dr. Rees comes over and explains to Danny that she was the sole survivor of a terrible tornado. But Danny fails to accept that it was just a tornado. Danny's now entering her oh why me protagonist mode as she reminisces over her family's death. Anyways, turns out that she's an uncommon girl, explaining the reasons for her survival. Hmm, shocker. Danny nods when she's asked. Ah, I take it she's watched the X-Men series. Dr. Ree shows her around the family-friendly facility for new mutants. This is going to be Danny's new home, until she learns to pull a J-Law level of skills in the outside world. The next morning, the doctor's sitting with a few of her patients, the new mutants support group, aka the weird kids table at school. Danny soon joins in and hears each of their coming out stories. Uh, wait, sorry, mutation stories. Ilyana, who plays the mean girl amongst the lot, is later asked to show Danny around. When Danny asks her questions, Ilyana shuts her up with a hand puppet. Mm hmm, nah, she's not like other girls. Danny's shown the place around and. Wait a minute. No okay, then, you know what that means. Run. But it turns out too good to be true because she falls right back down when she runs into an invisible cage. Uh oh, Liana, you've made her mad. Danny runs to fight her, but she disappears into thin air. You see, Danny's still dealing with her post traumatic guilt, and she wants to put an end to it all. She stands on the edge of the church building, prepared to jump, but she's interrupted by rain. This is really high up. A fall from here would mess you up. Yeah, interesting observation, Sherlock. Rain comforts and talks Danny out of it. Okay, but what's going on with everyone's eccentric accents around here? Introducing Sam, who possesses cannonball abilities that let him fly around at the speed of light. Sam has a dark past and some serious daddy issues, which we'll find about soon. Then we have Roberto. And yet, they put him to do the dirty dishes here. So later that night, the CCTV camera setup show us each patient's vitals as they go about doing their things. Danny's vitals are a little unstable because she's having a nightmare. The lights suddenly go out. Sam hears a strange noise from the washing machine, so he walks closer towards it. When he places his hand on the door, his vision flashes back to his past, working in the mines. He's confronted by his father. Later, Danny heads to a shower and comes across rain in there too. Wow, Rain didn't even have to buy her dinner first. They're already showering together. Smooth. Danny notices a mark on Rain's shoulder. Wow, that's, um, that's some serious body art. But it turns out to be a sensitive topic for Rain. And so she soon leaves when asked about it. On the other hand, we have Sam, still struggling to get over his past and accept himself. Yeah, hey, I do that too sometimes. The doctor's also offering free yoga lessons for them all. Not really the hot yoga instructor I was hoping for, but this'll do. Ayana's still bullying the new girl, Danny, but Danny's a big girl now, and she stands up to her bullies. They break into a serious catfight, and the rest stand around helplessly. Oh, that's nice. Therapy is over $100 a session. Well, this fight gets out of hand when Ilyana pulls out her inbuilt lightsaber and is about to attack her, but the doctor saves the day. They're all sent to their rooms. But that night, something takes over Danny and the doctor rushes to find her, drenched and blood staining her hands. So Dr. Rees takes her blood samples to further learn about Danny's unknown mutant powers. She explains how new mutants are more dangerous, and that's why they're keeping them there. Locked up, sequestered. Ah, oh, come on, Dr. Rees, that's just a fancy way of saying the same thing. Rain visits the church and sits in for a confession, but her fear takes over when she notices a presence enter and suddenly screams at her. Later on, all of them show Danny their secret getaway spot in the attic, and they play the classic game of truth or dare, but with a lie detector. They each take turns, 
and when it gets to Danny, Ilyana ditches the lie detector and hits her with questions. Danny shares a story about a demon bear that her dad told her about. But Ilyana soon grows bored and takes her turn to answer. But that truth or dare game gets too real too soon when Ilyana answers Danny's questions of why she was here. I killed 18 men. The lie detector proves those facts, and all of them are left in awe. Little do they know that their secret hideout is not much of a secret after all because the doctor has a camera in there too and is watching them. Now the next day she talks to him about obedience and trust in order for them to be sent over to her superior's facility. But Sam gets furious. I'm seeing things, terrible nightmares. Well howdy brother, that accent got me good. That night, Ilyana spikes Dr. Reese T and they all decide to have some fun and mock the X-Men. How insensitive. When they pay you to be X-Men now? Now wait till you hear about Captain America, Sam. Rain invites Danny over to show her something, and they both leave the room. Pfft, mutants be like I know a place and take you into the vent. Meanwhile, Sam shares his past with Roberto and what really brought him here. I killed my dad. Well, that's not as bad as Ilyana, right? But when Sam asks Roberto about his story, the latter says nothing and leaves. Rude. The end of the vent turns out to lead to the outside of the hospital. Danny is pleasantly surprised. So out of all the places they could have gone to out of the hospital, guess where they decide to go first? The cemetery. <sighs> so, as they're both laying down on the grass, staring up at the big bubble cage built by the doctor, Roberto lies down and looks back to his girlfriend when he hears someone humming in the distance. He decides to take a look. Turns out to be Ilyana taking a swim in the pool. Now, nah, who's gonna miss a golden opportunity like this one? Definitely not Roberto. One company? Ilyana suggests playing a game of catch. Meanwhile, Rain and Danny share their first kiss that night, and Danny sees Rain's mutant eyes. Ilyana and Roberto's game of catch turns a little intimate, but Roberto pulls away when his body starts burning up. Ilyana's a bit confused, and he starts explaining how he burnt his girlfriend with his own hands. Guess that's what they call too hot to handle. Ilyana asks him to catch her again, but this time, she really disappears. She's in her room, scribbling away on the walls, but Roberto feels a hand run down his back and smiles to himself. Oh, Romeo, do I have news for you. He turns around, and a burnt figure emerges out of the water, <laughs> scary. He quickly gets out of the water when it starts chasing him. Dude, you just cheated on your dead girlfriend. Did you really expect her soul not to haunt you? The fire alarms go off, and Rain feels her animal instincts kick in, so she rushes in to help Roberto. The doctor's also woken up by the chaos, and she runs out to Roberto. He's got this fantastic four huge push but the doctor quickly pushes him into the pool so he cools down. Ilyana walks in after everything and kind of plays dumb, but Roberto's not having that. He gets all furious and says he needs to leave. Although she just woke up and missed most of the action, the doctor thinks otherwise. The doctor's claiming that she won't let him leave, so Ilyana steps in and mocks her. Hey kids, you know what you get when you talk back? Grounded. Initiate lockdown. Now the next day, the doctor's sitting down with Danny and asks her a bunch of questions about the night she was brought in. And as she's narrating events from that night, she grows tense and has flashes of new memories. Shortly, Ilyana and Rain are both visited by demons of their past. Rain's found in a shocking state by the doctor and the rest. What? Ah, funny you ask that, Danny, because it's actually her undiscovered mutant power that was causing all this. Ilyana's the first to figure it out, and she wastes no time to pounce on Danny and attack her. But as she does, Danny attacks her with the traumatizing masked man. Ilyana screams and falls back. Guess they ran out of scary masks, so opted for a rather cheery looking one. Dr. Reese takes this chance to sedate Ilyana. Later on, Danny visits Ilyana to give back her puppet, and she learns about her side of the story. The slender man looking fellas who hurt her and scarred her for life. The analysis results for Danielle come out, and it says that the subject presents extreme danger. A little too late for that, but thanks. It also asks to terminate the subject. Danny tells Rain about the vision she had and the kid she saw, and comes to a late conclusion that. I don't think this is a hospital. Well, the doctor calls Danny in for another examination and takes her into an isolated room. While Rain joins Ilyana and Sam, they all start to hear music playing from the hallway. Ilyana finds it familiar and they see it coming from her room. Rain leaves to find the doctor. When Ilyana opens the door, her younger memories play out in front of her eyes. 
Sam comforts and reassures her. But the next thing you know, he screams, run, as that slender man starts chasing him down. One of them grabs Ilyana, but Sam fights it with a fire extinguisher and knocks him down. Roberto's enjoying his solo jam session while doing the dishes. Oh, if I had a dollar for every time I saw this guy washing dishes, I'd be the richest guy in Brazil too. He's attacked by a slender man, but quickly reacts by using his power to push it away. Dr. Reese has got Danny all tied up and prepares to end her. But her girlfriend is already making her way there. Rain appears and jumps on the doctor attacking her. And the doctor grabs a scalpel and stabs Rain before pushing her away and escapes. Rain helps untie Danny and get her up. Now the doctor runs into Sam and Ilyana in the hallway. Hey guys, you gotta help us. Uh, that sounds like a you problem, Sam. Because the doctor turns her back and runs the other way. Sam, all frustrated, asks Ilyana to use her powers and do something to fight back. But once again, Sam, it sounds like a you problem. Ilyana disappears into thin air. Oh, seriously? Now Sam's cornered by some demons from the closet who aren't even his to begin with. He uses his powers to speed out of there. He and Roberto run into each other, and then see Ilyana use her lightsaber skills to fight that slender man out. That was so hot. Okay, Roberto, now's not the time. All of them find the truth about the institution and the SX Corporation. She's prepping us to be killed. Oh, what a disgrace to Professor X. They all devise a plan to end this once and for all, to get out of there before the doctor can pull any more moves on them. Rain follows the smell of the doctor's blood to track her down. And when they find her, Dr. Reese is still claiming to want to save them, and she puts them all into bubble cages. She explains Danny's power and how she takes your fears and secrets and uses them against you. Soon there's a perimeter breach, and Danny uses her powers to bring out the big guy, the demon bear. It breaks in and takes out the doctor who did it. Danny goes back to the night of the tornado, but the demon bear is still out there hunting him down. So Ilyana tells him to help out Danny while she takes care of the monster. She takes that scary bear head on. I'm gonna marry that girl. <sighs> Roberto, man. Once again, now's not the time. Lockheed yeah, turns out to be a pet dragon, and Ilyana's part of the They take Danny to the church, and Sam goes back out to help Ilyana out. But the bear has already made its way into the church and attacks Danny and Rain. Things get messy as they're all knocked out, and Ilyana tries to fight on her own. Roberto finally mans up and uses his powers to fight the bear. We're all going to die. Monday motivation quote for you to start the day. Roberto's knocked down by the bear, and he's still not awake. She sees her father, and his words finally get her to wake up. She manages to tame her demon. But it's time to go to sleep now. That's it? Just needed some nap time? Well, Danny takes off her necklace, and just like that, the bear disappears. They all make it out alive, and discover that the bubble cage is now gone. They're free to leave, and it's all happily ever after from there. And that wraps up our recap of The New Mutants, directed by Josh Boone, based on New Mutants by Chris Claremont and Bob McLeod. Thanks for chilling with us. Till next time.